Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Rob. You're watching Lists of 13. Here you'll find lists of various topics all in sets of 13. If you have tristodectophobia, an irrational fear of the number 13, this video may not be for you. Otherwise, enjoy the list. Today, we're talking about one of the most iconic rock bands of all time. They have rocked for many years. They came out with a lot of great music, which still rocks to this day. I'm talking about Queen, and today we bring you 13 facts about Queen that you probably didn't know. Number one, half of the musicians that would end up comprising Queen were actually already part of a band called Smile, comprised of Brian May, Roger Taylor, and the lead singer and bassist Tim Staffel. Staffel was not part of Queen. Number two, Freddie Mercury was originally from India and his name was Farak Balsara. Number three, every band member of Queen has at least an undergraduate degree. Roger Taylor was training to become a dentist before joining the band. Brian May has a PhD in astronomy. Very interesting. Yeah. Number four, the Queen Crest was inspired by the stars. The crest was designed by Freddie Mercury. Despite claiming not to believe in astrological mumbo jumbo, Mercury still used the western star signs of the band as inspiration for the crest. The two lions on either side of the crown are nods to Roger and John, both Leos. The crab is for Cancer Brian May, and the two fairies are stand-ins for the sign Virgo, which was Mercury's. That's lots of fun. I don't know that I really gave it much thought that the crest was made up of astrological signs. It is pretty fun. Number five, Freddie Mercury was a creative soul, and he never knew when in inspiration would strike. For that reason, he had all of his assistants carry pen and paper around with them in case he needed it. Probably a smart idea, really. Right, especially before the days of phones where you could just jot down your notes. Right. Number six, a blue vinyl pressing of the song Bohemian Rhapsody is worth $5,000. The seven inch limited edition is highly sought after with just 200 produced by the record label EMI and each of them hand numbered. That's super cool. I didn't even know that that existed. And now you do. Right. If I ever run a crossed a hand-numbered blue vinyl copy of Bohemian Rhapsody, who's gonna buy it if it's like cheap and in a garage sale? Number seven. Originally Queen wasn't going to release the song Another One Bites the Dust, written by John Deacon, but when Michael Jackson heard the tune backstage at a concert in LA, he convinced the band to do otherwise and make it their lead single for the 1980 album, The Game. Great album, great song. Thank you, Michael Jackson. Right, and I can't imagine what all of the hours that I've spent having Another One Bites the Dust stuck in my head since I heard it as a kid could possibly have been filled up with. Every time I hear it, you'll find me singing it for like a week at a time. Number eight. In 1981, Queen set a new record in Buenos Aires, Argentina for the most people at a single concert with a staggering 300,000 fans at their gig. That's really just crazy. So many people. Right. We've seen footage from that and it really blows my mind. It's just like a sea of people. 300,000 people is a lot. Right, especially considering that they don't even like speak the same language that they're singing. Like that's remarkable to know that you have fans that come out in droves of 300,000 because they love your music even though they probably don't understand it. Right. Number nine. If it weren't for Queen, we might not have had some of the other artists. Lady Gaga, Kurt Cobain, and Katy Perry all named Queen as inspiration in their careers. It's a wide variety of people too. Right, which makes sense because you look at Queen's music and it's a really well-rounded diverse set of music as well. And some really creative out there stuff given some of those artists. True. Number ten. Freddie Mercury died of AIDS on November November 21st, 1991. He didn't publicly announce his condition until just before the day he died of pneumonia caused by the symptoms of his illness. He let the band in on his secret diagnosis in 1989 and then told his sister a year later in 1990. It's incredibly sad. Right, I remember actually crying when he died. Number 11. Many bands are happy to reach the charts at all. Queen not only hit the charts, but they stayed on the UK charts for 26 years. No other artist in history has been able to say the same thing. Well, that's because they're Queen and they're amazing. And most other artists are just pretty good. Right. Number 12. Unfortunately, Freddie Mercury isn't the only one who had health issues. In 1974, as they were on tour opening for another band, Brian May collapsed and the band dropped out for the remainder of the tour because of his health. He had 
been diagnosed with hepatitis C. I wasn't aware of that either. It just shows you you can be famous and not be immune from certain horrible diseases. Right. And number 13, in 2001, Queen was welcomed into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Which, in my opinion, was extremely well deserved. Yeah, absolutely. We hope you liked this video talking about a completely incredible band. Tell us your favorite fact or perhaps your favorite Queen song in the comments. Thanks again for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to get notified when we post new videos. After subscribing, ring the bell on YouTube or click follow next to our name on Facebook. Then click edit settings. Choose how often you'd like to be notified of new videos. We hope you choose all videos. After that, tell all your friends. We, we hope, hope you enjoy, enjoy your day and keep being kind to one another. another.